Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I'll be showing you how you can easily create and display timeline on your WordPress website using Elementor Page Builder and Elementor Timeline Wizard add-on. Both Elementor Page Builder and this add-on are free, so you won't have to spend any money. And I'll provide the link of these plugins in the video description. So let's see the timeline I'll create. Here goes it. You can see the time and icon and the level of the timeline and image description, all of this. One shows on the right side, another shows on the left side. That's pretty fantastic. You can easily do with this add-on. Okay. And I'll do this job in three simple steps. Firstly, I'll install this plugin. Secondly, I'll add content using this add-on and finally I'll configure the setting options of this widget. So let's get to be started. Just install this plugin and here I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website. To install the widgets, let's go to the plugins and click on add new and search for timeline here. And here goes the expected plugin, Elementor Timeline Widget Add-on. Just click Install Now button to install it. And hit Activate. Okay. Here you can see I have already installed and activated the widget add-on. So let's go to the step number two. Create Timeline on the home page of my website. Okay, let's go to the pages and here you can see all pages, click on it. And here is the home page. So I'm going to click edit with Elementor and open in a new tab. And I would like to add the timeline here below this image. You can add anywhere in your website. So what I'll have to do I'll have to create a section. So here goes the plus sign. Click on it. And here goes another plus sign. Just click on it to add a row. I'm going to click on here to create a on column row. Okay. Now on the left, you will see section editing option. You can add and customize the section. Okay. So if I click on the plus sign and on the left, you will see all the available widgets. What I'm going to do, I'm going to search for timeline. And here it is. Just grab it and drag and drop here. Okay. The amazing or interesting thing about this plugin that it comes with dummy data. It comes with three post or item of this timeline so you will get the real life idea what you are going to do okay so uh, I have already added the timeline and what I can do I can see the available setting options the first one is content under this content I will have to add content here okay firstly the layout I have three options centered this one and on site like this and horizontal like this okay but I like centered that looks good okay that's all about layout setting and let's see timeline story setting and here you can see already I have three ready-made items I'm going to delete each of them and the last one it's not going to be deleted so what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit all of this to make the timeline look like this one. Okay. So first of all, here you can see the year level. Here it is. You can show it or disable it. I'm going to show it. And here goes the date. I'm going to start with Mars. 1988 and extra level see the world 
and here you can add the title welcome to the planet earth and from here you can change the image just click over here choose image and from the media library you can easily add image or you can upload image so i'm going to use this one select it and click insert media and here it is okay friends here you can change the image size large or medium and here goes description just i'm going to use some dummy data okay that's all i have created a timeline section and below here you can see icon you can change the icon just click on it and i'm going to search for baby click on it and click insert and here it goes okay that's all for this timeline story item i have already added on and now i'm click over here to duplicate okay okay now i'm going to click on it to change everything change the image change icon this one and in the same way you can change or customize rest of the items or you can add unlimited items okay friends so i have added content that's the end of step two let's see how can we style this timeline okay so let's go to step number three and click on style here you can see year typography you can change the typography of year you can change the font family to anything else like poppins and you increase or decrease the font size okay and story level typography you can change the font family to anything else okay here you can see it changes and increase the size just pretty simple okay in the same way you can change everything so let's go to the color setting here goes the colors and on the demo side here you can see this color just go here date level you can change the color of the date and extra level color here goes the extra level you can change the extra level color just this one okay and a story title color here it is so change the story title color to black or any color a story description color is black that's good and here you can see line color this line i'm going to change this line color to now and at the same time i'm going to change the icon color to white no it doesn't look cool so this color okay that's cool and icon and a story background color here's the background color you can easily change okay that's fine from here you can get any favorite color that's fine so here goes it and let's see the advanced option you can add margin and padding so if you would like to get some padding here just add padding to right to 80 pixel 
okay add padding to bottom but it creates problem so don't add padding how about adding margin okay no no don't get wrong with this one so what you can do you can click over here to edit the section and now you can add padding here on the section just 80 pixel that's fine and bottom 40 pixel and 40 pixel just hit update finally and let's see the preview let's scroll down and here goes the timeline we have created so friends thank you for watching i hope you could uh, follow the steps i showed you and create a timeline on your wordpress website and if this video helped you don't forget to like it and leave your comment and share and subscribe to my channel Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again with a new video. Goodbye.